What's up everybody? So uh, so we're going to be talking about the alternator on the Corvette today and a little bit of electronic stuff uh, because I think we finally figured out why I've been burning up alternators on the Corvette. We're actually going to uh, we're going to get the new one installed today and go to my tuner and we're going to make some adjustments and hopefully get this figured out. But first, uh, alternators here. Let me go grab it. Okay, got the new alternator, and uh, of course it's identical to the last one that we had. Got the same readings on the back. It was inspected on the 25th, so like a week ago. You can see on the back here where it's been tested. 168 amps at idle, 195 at cruising speed, and 223 top end. That's our amperage outputs. Voltage regulator is set at 14.8 volts. Hopefully this will work. I think I know why the alternator's been failing. I talked to the guy at Powermaster last week before before the alternator came in. I, I don't agree with everything he was saying. He still had to talk to an engineer about it. And me coming from an engineering background and my father being an aerospace engineer, we have a really good understanding of electronics. I, I was building solar powered cars when I was eight years old. I mean, it, when it comes to voltage and amperage and everything, I feel like I really have a grasp on it. The guy tried to tell me that because the alternator puts out high amperage, I needed to put bigger wires and everything in the car for the, the charging system. And I'm like, no, it, I have not added any extra devices that are requiring more current pull. But he said that the alternator itself is pushing the amperage and the wires are creating a bottleneck. And I'm like, that's... That's not how it works as far as I know. If there's any engineers out there, please feel free to correct me. But from my understanding, you, you can push voltage, okay? If you push too many volts out, if, if you're producing 20 volts and you put an LED light in the circuit and it can only handle 14, well, whether that thing needs a milliamp or 10 amps to run, if you put too much voltage on it, it's gonna pop. But in retrospect, if I was to take an LED and attach it to this alternator with little bitty wires, that, that LED is only going to pull as much current as it needs, current amps. Amperage, as far as I understand, is not pushed. Amperage is pulled. If the device requires more amperage, it pulls it. Now at that point, if your wires are too small, it could cause the wires to heat up and things like that. What I think is happening is because at idle, just like in one of my previous videos, I showed you at idle 550-600 RPM, the, the alternator is only putting out like 11 and a half to 12 volts when I've got the fan running and the AC and all that stuff, right? Currently with the AutoZone alternator, it's actually doing fine at idle. It's just I, they get demanding after a while and I burn those up. That's why I upgraded to the PowerMaster. But anyway, the PowerMaster guy told me about the amps pushing and this, that. I don't believe any of that. What I did come up with though, he told me they have a maximum RPM. It's, you know, it can only spin so fast, right? So it can only spin 18,000 RPM max on these alternators. Well, at a three to one ratio from my crank to the alternator pulley, I'm revving at like 6,800, maybe 7,000 RPM, multiply that times three. You're talking 21,000 revolutions per minute on the alternator, which is obviously higher than the 18,000 it can handle. So, we're gonna go to my tuner. We're gonna make sure my red line is set to like 65, 6800. We had it up there extra to get a little extra pull out of each gear, but if it's just gonna cause problems, I'm, I'm willing to tune it back a little bit. And we're gonna raise the idle RPM 100 and, uh, and see how it handles. But as far as pushing and pulling and things like that, um, well, for example, and okay, so your alternator's charging, right? It's pushing power to the battery, okay? If you have devices like a fan that's trying to consume higher amperage, higher wattage, more current, then yes, it's gonna try to pull as much as it can. But an alternator sitting there spinning, it'll push that voltage to things in the circuit, but it's not going to force amps through. That's just not how that works. That's not how I understand it. Again, if anybody else there, out there wants to uh, wants to correct me please feel free to because it doesn't make any sense to me 
my thing is I haven't added any additional things to pull electricity through the circuits so I'm, I'm gonna assume it's just over revving and then at idle one of the other alternator shops even confirmed with me they said yeah they said if at idle it's only producing you know a hundred something amps and 11 volts and your fans trying to pull a hundred something amps and, and 14 volts well the alternator's not pushing that much to supply everything it's causing the voltage to drop and it's overloading the alternator it, that seems pretty simple I don't know why I didn't think of it before but anyway we're gonna give that a shot and see how it goes yeah so in the next video we're gonna do the install go to my tuner get it all set up and see how it works out thanks for tuning in for this quick little thing and uh, pardon my terrible illustrations and I just noticed this looks like it's I don't know that's supposed to be bent look at this it looks like is that squished it looks a little squished does that look squished to you guys hmm well, I hope the bolt goes through. Well, I could put a that could put a damper on the whole thing. It's all right. Not gonna stress about that right now. We're gonna assume that uh, that this is gonna go in just fine. So, I, so I hope I explained my my thoughts on this without confusing the crap out of everyone. That yeah, I just wanted to try to explain stuff and let you guys know what we're doing here. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, click that bell to be notified. That way you'll know when the follow-up video comes up. And again, in the next video, we will be installing the alternator, going and getting the tuner to, uh, to set my red line and raise my idle. And let's see if this works. Maybe we can finally, finally get past this alternator issue. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. See y'all.